In this video, I will demonstrate how to perform the frequency function. The frequency function generates frequencies for a set of values. In this case, the data we're using are data gathered on education level for a group of subjects. So each of the subjects would fit into a particular category, and we have five different categories of education level. And so this function will allow us to determine the frequency of subjects that fit into each education level or each category. So the first step, we need to create the list of the potential outcomes that could occur. So as I mentioned earlier, we have five different levels of education, so we have five possible outcomes that a subject may fit into. So we need to create these bins or categories for our five different uh, potential outcomes. So I've labeled the column bins, and now I need to input what these potential outcomes may be. And so, as I mentioned, we've got a potential to have five different outcomes. One through five is our bins. Okay, once we've done that, and depending on how many potential outcomes you have, you're, that's how many bins you're going to have to have. So, if you're looking at the frequency of score on an exam, and the potential score is from 0 to 100, you're going to have from 0 to 100 bins. Uh, so that you can track all the potential frequencies. So once we've created our bins, our next step is to highlight the area where we want the frequencies to occur, and that's typically going to be right next to the bins in the adjacent column. So I'm going to highlight that area where I want the actual output or the frequencies to be placed. We then want to click on the Formulas tab and click on insert function and then we need to locate the frequency function so I did a search for the frequency function and here it is at the top of the list so I want to double click on that okay so we first thing we want to do is click on the REF edit button in the data array entry box And using our mouse, we have to highlight the data that we actually want to be used in determining our frequency. So I'm going to highlight all the data. I can then click on the Ref Edit button again. And so now my data array has been identified. And the next thing we need to do is indicate to the program where our bins are located. So we want to click on the Reference Edit button for bins. And so what I'm going to do now is highlight highlight the cells that define our bins. So that would be in this column E. And I click the Ref Edit button. Okay, the next step then is to simultaneously press the Control, Shift, and Enter button. So we do that in combination, not in sequence. And this is done because Excel treats the adjacent cells, as I've labeled frequency, as, uh, as an array, not as a single value. So now as we look here, we can see the results of our frequency function. So for category number one, we had one subject. Category number two, we had three, and so on. And so now we can see the frequency of occurrence for each of our five potential outcomes. So hopefully you've learned something from this video and good luck using this technique on your own.